slow down, slow down, it's me. Dude, it's Trevor, it's me. Trevor, it's me, I'm a human. Stop it, put the bow down. Keep your hand out of your pocket, dude. Hey, I'm, hey, don't reach in your pocket. I got something in my hey. pocket. I got something in my pocket. Do you know what a pocket is? It's gonna blow Get your hand away. out of your pocket. It's gonna blow you. I'm put, telling you, put the bow down. Keep your hand away from your pocket. Don't, 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 don't. Eight bows, all under $200. Which bow is best for you? The number one question I get is what bow should I buy? And thank you for all the support. By purchasing our archery products, this allows me to buy these bows having no affiliation with these companies so that I can give you honest reviews. Specs, speed, smoothness, snagability, and sacrifice is the scale we are testing these bows to. Each person is different and each bow is different, meaning I don't know exactly what bow you will need, but my goal is to give you enough information so that you can make an educated choice on the next bow to buy. So let's get right into it. Hey man, how you doing? Hey Kramer, what's up? It's been a long time. How you do I'm good, doing good. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, really was, good. How uh, are you? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, you, you go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 don't, no, don't. no, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm not trying to interrupt you. You just go ahead. It's no problem. Yeah. It's no problem. Just, you go oh, ahead. Oh, me? You're good. Yeah, I can go first. Hey, I saw your text, <laughs> like, in the middle of the night this morning, but uh, seriously, yeah, dude, I can I can do a video. I just can't be there for a couple hours. I'm, I'm a little busy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, that's not a problem at all. If you wouldn't mind, if I could just like send you the information, you could start reviewing where you are. That way when you get here, we can kind of do the closure to this video together. I just, I just, I just really want to see you again, you know? And yeah, I don't know. I just, you doing good? Are you sure? Like we're good together? Nothing between us? We're friends still? All good? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, good. So good to hear your voice, man. Um, I'll see you here in a couple hours. You start off with specs and then, uh, then we'll move from there. Totally, just send me the specs in a text and I'll go ahead and get this recording going. I'll knock out the specs and I don't even know what the bow is, dude. But let's do this. Okay, okay man. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> let's knock out these specs. Um. Three out of 10 on the specs? What did they do with this bow? Wow. Okay, um, so we've got a folding bow. This bow literally folds in and out. You've got these little levers to lock the limbs in place. Now, just a traditional D97 string, nothing special about that. What is very interesting about this bow is that the riser and the limbs are all one third section so that the limbs can fold inside of the riser. Now this bow is just under two pounds at one pound 14.5 ounces, which in their description list it says 3.79 pounds. So it's like almost half of what they say it is in weight, which a lighter bow, yeah, let's take that. 59 inches unstrung so that when you fold it, you've got about a 22 inch bow. In saying that it is an aluminum riser with fiberglass limbs, they say that their limbs are improved fiberglass limbs so that they're 20% more effective. What does effective mean and what does improved fiberglass mean? I do not know. Throw this bow up on the tilling tree to experience the draw weight. And this bow is supposed to be a 35 pound bow, but what do we get? A 23 pound bow, you've got to be kidding me. Their poundage is a pound and a half off, and their bow that's a 35 pound bow is a 23 pound bow. How can I trust them? They say you can get a 35 to a 55 pound bow, and you can choose your poundage. So, if you want a 43 pound bow, go for the 55 pound bow. 
LOL. With all of that being said, it looks like we're giving this one a three out of 10 on the specs. This one kind of pooped. So for this folding bow on the snagability test, we've got a 392. Now, if you're new, the snagability is the quickness of learning. The first 50 shots with this bow scored on a target that I can max out at 500 points, and we got a 392. I tested eight bows. Much of them are behind me there which the average was 406. So 392 is below average. We're giving this a four out of 10 on the snagability test. What's the smoothness? A lighter bow is gonna feel more smooth because there's just less force. But listen to this. It's uncomfortably quiet. So this bow is actually quite smooth. That is smooth when you release it. Like I don't feel much hand shock, but the handle is not really that comfortable. It's just a CNC piece of aluminum. Now for the design of the bow, they did have to do equal limb links to the riser. So the riser is one third of the bow. Maybe that's helping. I don't know, but it's a really quiet bow. With that being said, it is really smooth to shoot it. So I want to give this one a 7 out of 10 because it's, it's very smooth. And I think that's because the riser is so, so big. And because the limbs are so, so light and draw poundage, you're shooting such a light bow, it makes it feel very smooth. But as far as the handle goes, with the comfortableness of it, it's not that great. It might even be better if you wrap the handle in some sort of grip tape so that your hand didn't slide around on the metal so much. But overall, seven out of 10 on the smoothness. So as far as the speed goes, how we test this is taking five shots, 10 grains per pound of draw weight. That's the weight of the arrow. So with a 23 pound bow, we go with a 230 grain arrow. We shoot this through a chronograph five times, take the average, and we get with this bow 148 feet per second, which is me. We shot the deer seeker bow that was a 24 pound bow. We got 160 feet per second. So this bow specifically right here, looks like we're gonna score it a three out of 10 on the speed test. This bow would cost you $164.99. Now, is this bow that fun? I don't know. Um, I personally think that this bow's sacrifice score, how much do you have to sacrifice for the value of this bow? You gotta sacrifice a decent amount. The whole folding factor is pretty cool, but in the reality of not getting the bow you ordered, changes everything for me again, which is so surprising that we've had like three of these bows, I think more than 10 pounds off on draw weight. That's crazy, three of eight. And I guess that's maybe, maybe one of the biggest negatives of ordering a bow that's under $200 is the inconsistency in these specs. But as far as the sacrifice goes, I think, Kramer, what do you think? This isn't my show, actually. Let's see real quick if he's there. Let's give him a quick ring. Hello? Hey man. Hey man. Is it okay if I come over now? Um, I think I'm making good progress. Yeah, come on over. We'll do the outro together. Okay, I'm gonna head over. I'll be there in about five minutes. You finish out the... Hey, this is my oh. show. What are you doing? You don't want me to tell you what to do? Are you trying to take the spotlight no. again, dude? I, you tried all those trick shots back in 2019. I didn't mean anything by it. Dude. I haven't finished the sacrifice. Here, let me finish it. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'll see you soon. I believe three out of 10 is very generous for this folding bow on the sacrifice scale. If a few other things fell in place, like if it was what it said it was, it would make a big difference. I'm repeating what Trevor said, but just don't tell him I'm saying this. With that being said, when I remove my hand, we'll finish this outro with Trevor. Boom, baby. Hey, Trevor, you can come in, come on in. Yeah. So here the bow is. How'd you think it went, man? Yeah, man, I think that uh, bow review went pretty good. Yeah, I think it went pretty good too. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Now, I will say one more thing. Hey, I was actually thinking, I've got something I wanna show you from my, you wanna show me something? My pocket. In your pocket? Yeah. It's, dude, do you mind if I reach in here and um, go ahead and grab? Can you just hold off for one minute? I need to tell you something. I need to confess something to you first. I wanna keep anything crazy in my pocket. It's just a pocket, like, 
can't keep anything dangerous in a pocket or anything that would hurt you or anything, dude. Like, uh, I don't know why you're so concerned. You see, last night I had a dream. Hmm. And you had something in your pocket. And rightfully so, it's making me nervous that you want to reach into your pocket again. I understand your concern, but you can trust me. Are you absolutely positive? 100% you can trust me. Okay. It's a cell phone. A lot of your subscribers have been sending you videos and pictures of things they've accomplished. Check this out. First of all, highlighting Kevin. He's crushing it and shooting bullseyes with the bow he made. <laughs> if that video doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. Leo from New Zealand is still getting after it. This young man just made a 67 centimeter bow equaling 26 inches and he built this bow with wood from a school ground. I'm telling you, Leo is doing like his own version of Will a bow. He's amazing. Here's another photo of Connor getting after it in the tillering. Connor, let us know in the comments if this bow turned out well. And lastly, we're highlighting Sean and his beautiful family. Good shot. Proud of you. I got the wood, Willie. Go ahead. You can do it. <laughs> yes. I've watched these videos so many times, can't get enough of it. So, so cool. And from one dad to another, Sean, you may have just won the Father of the Year award. I'll stop there, but that's not to mention John, Tracy, Robert, Melissa, all these people are getting after it and they want to tell you. Trevor, looks like I was wrong about you. To all of you, thank you. Thank you so much. Stay positive. Be shatterproof. And we're for you. And we'll see you on the next video. Who are you? <laughs> There's a car outside. That sounds like an Amazon van. No, too big. The door shut. It's not UPS. Might be FedEx. Although they've been stealing the budget vans to deliver recently, so it could be a budget van or truck. Thanks for watching, guys. Normally I pause when a plane goes past or a car stops outside or a truck, but this person's probably at the front door right now. Ding, ding. Package, take a photo of that because I didn't steal it. See you later. Top archery, cheapest bow I don't recommend. The folding bow, I'm gonna make one of these. My own version. Man, that truck is taking a while. Oh, there it goes, coffee. Splattered it on my face. Oh, growing my hair out, not really. It's a joke, or is it? Who is Trevor, you may ask. Let's do a YouTube story. So I'm trying to create a video. Yes, we're live, but there's a truck outside making all of this noise. What is this noise? I've got bows, I've got a camera, I've got my hands, and there's a truck. My name's Trickshot Trevor, and I'm trying to figure out my place in this world. Is it a moving truck? Someone moving in? I've been working on my dance moves this year. If you're watching this, please forgive me. One of my favorite things is, one of my favorite things is to throw knives. And then to video yourself talking to yourself, pretending like you're somebody else talking to yourself, talking to yourself, and then videoing that at the same time. Once these bow reviews are done, I've got a bunch of exotic wood I'm pumped to make videos with. Uh, do I have a bow problem? <laughs> That's just what's in front of the camera. You do not want to see what's back there. I'll show you later. I want to say thank you to all of you for a couple things. One, 127,000 subscribers. Okay, so most people celebrate at like mile markers like 100,000 or 200,000 or whatever their number is. But I'm celebrating 127,000 because I am so grateful for every single one of you and it doesn't matter whether you are the 100,000th, the first, or however far we can go. But from the beginning to People who supported me like Sigman and Ladybug Adventures and Heartland Living Outdoors and all of you amazing people. 
Thank you so much all the way to today. It is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for all the support. It means the world to me. You have provided a job for me that I didn't know was possible. And it's been amazing. So can't thank you enough. Keep crushing it out there.